It's not no regular cop car, it's the dick. So when I see the dicks, I'm like, I look to K, K look at me, we look at my other homie, and then he just take off, nigga, he ain't say nothing, he just took the f off. Now he starts to lose the cops a little bit, and everything looking good, but another police officer get behind this, bro. G-Dot family, you already know what it is. It's your boy G-Dot back at it with another bup, 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 banging ass video. You already know, man. I got another crazy story time for y'all today because I don't know why the f I got in a high speed chase, why I even got a dude car, why I even was fucking with him. Like, I don't know, bro. I'm not even like that. Like, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know why I was involved in that shit, bro. Because I do a lot of dumb ass shit with a high speed chase. A high speed chase, nigga. I don't go on no damn high speed chases. I'm going to jail if I go on a high speed chase, nigga. I ain't trying to go to jail. I do a lot of shit. I ain't gonna do nothing that's gonna put me in jail. Like, I swear to God, I ain't doing nothing that's gonna put me in jail, man. But look, before we get into the video, you already know what's going on. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new bank and ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, WildBoyG. and Twitter, WildBoyG. All the links to my social media are gonna be in the description below, including my Twitch, Patreon, my website, because you already know what's going on with the big three, man. Because you already know what's going on with that website, man. Look, if you're interested in learning how to make some money in the crypto market, stock market, how to start your own business, how to fix your credit, and many more things, don't forget to hit that link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video, dog. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention I'm a little, ha, you did, I'm a little smidge right now, so y'all can get that real story time. You see what I'm saying? That real deal story time. All right, look, man, this story takes place my freshman year of college. You already know my freshman year of college, bro. I was going to Olive Harvey. I was going to a community college in the city of Chicago. Now, look, did I want to go to that community college? Hell no. Nah. But in my eyes, bro, when I graduated high school, like, I really wasn't feeling the college vibe. Like, it was a hype. I didn't go to college. Like, I did go to college. You feel what I'm saying? But did I want to go to college? Hell no. Nah. The only reason I really went to college was to get away from my pops. That nigga crazy. Like, I just had to get away from his ass. Would have stayed at home. Probably wouldn't have killed that nigga. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just slide. Get the hell up out of here. You feel me? At least go to community college and get the hell up out this house for half the day or something. I'll be outside half the day. You feel me? With my homies anyway. So the other half, I can be at school. I'm booked up all day. I ain't seeing this nigga. This nigga ain't seeing me. So we good. And that was a good formula for a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like my freshman year, that was a pretty good formula. Like I wasn't tripping. I wasn't seeing a nigga. I wasn't getting into no issues. Like everything was good, bro. Like yeah, I do little stupid shit here and there but for the most part bro i wasn't in no stupid shit bro i wasn't doing nothing stupid like the most dumb thing i do is smoke and drive but text and drive you feel what i'm saying i really slowed down on hitting the licks i slowed down all the extra stupid shit i was doing at this point in time bro i was just really trying to get high and focus on all that's all i was really trying to do i swear to god bro my freshman year if you was a fine thotty you was fine you was probably gonna get cuffed by g dot i ain't gonna lie to you you feel what i'm saying i was probably gonna cuff you keep you along for a little ride you feel what i'm saying and then boot you out the motherfucking car when i got tired of your ass in about like a month or two months then swap them out again you feel you know what I'm saying? That's how the time I was on. But look, you know, my freshman year flew by pretty fast. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, one minute I was starting freshman year, and the next minute I was ending, you feel me? And one minute it was goddamn November, and the next minute it's goddamn June. So I look up, it's the summertime. And you already know in the summertime, my homies, homies that came back from real college, you feel what I'm saying? They came home from SIUC, and they came back to the rack. So when they came back to the rack, my homie introduced us to them, you feel what I'm saying? They was some cool niggas. They ain't finna say no names, because I ain't finna incriminate no nigga. But well, we gonna call one K, we gonna call one J. Now, K and J, what's some cool niggas? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, it's still my homies to this day, like they cool as hell. They ass crazy, but they cool as hell, you feel what I'm saying? So they came back, everything going good, you feel what I'm saying? It's pretty much like an extension of the guys, because I ain't gonna lie, bro, they was on the same shit I was on. They trying to get high, and they trying to be around some hoes. Hey, that's all I want to do, you feel what I'm saying? I know I could have been doing a lot more things in my life, but let me tell you something, bro. As long as I had some weed, and had some hoes around me, or one or the other, bro, I don't give a f I don't give a f I swear to God, I don't get no fuck, boy. Especially what? Especially since I'm young as hell, nigga. I'm just happy to have a car. I'm happy to be outside. I'm happy to bring around some hoes, bro. I'm just happy to be out here right now. So I ain't really tripping about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Money is an issue, but we get money how we get some money. I ain't finna speak too much on that. But these niggas came back home, and I ain't gonna lie. Every day when they came back home, it was kind of busting, folks, because we doing some more extra shit, because we linking with people they know. We get more weed, because they putting on to the weed. We having more motion. Everything fun. I ain't gonna lie to you. But one day when I'm kicking it with K, I ain't gonna lie to nigga driving. It was me, K, and one of my other homies. I ain't finna say too many names, you feel me? But we driving, we finna go get some food. Now, we driving in a low-key, a hot neighborhood. Like, the police be out. They be outside. They don't be playing. So, we driving around, riding around, and this nigga riding around, he look at us, he like, hey, bro, if we get pulled over, just know y'all gonna have to run because I'm going on a chase. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, if we get pulled over and I hop out, y'all gotta hop out, too. So, I'm like, alright. I ain't even asking no questions. I don't get no fuck nigga shit. It's your cop. You gonna hop out? I'm gonna hop out. I ain't gonna get caught with all these drugs and these guns and this car, nigga. 
that. I'm gone, nigga. You ain't finna put shit on me. So I'm like, alright, she ain't gotta tell me nothing but one time, nigga. I'm gone. I'm wheezy out of here. The police come behind us, nigga. I'm wheezy out of here. I ain't tripping about nothing. I don't care about nothing. I'm gone, nigga. I'm G O N E. Gone with the wind, nigga. Hold on, let me take a sip of my drink. That's a good yak, you feel me? You got mix of liquor with the goddamn lemonade, you feel me? I ain't liking all that straight up drink. But he tell us that, and you feel me? Ever since that day when I got in the car with Kane, I was still on edge, I was still looking like so. We finna get in a car chase today, cause this nigga low-key be smoking and driving, having a pipe on him in a rack when that shit not legal. His ass be swerving and shit, doing all types of crazy shit. In the hood, he's pulling up in the hood doing this. So I'm like, you know what, at a point I'm just ready for it, bro. Whatever happened, happened. I don't get no fuck. Whatever come with this shit, come with this shit, and I'm taking it head on. That's how I'm feeling. So at one point I got in the car, bro, I'm like, whatever, fuck it. We finna go get high, bro. We finna go do what we do. I'm finna have fun. I'm finna enjoy my life. And I was living with that mindset, bro, for a cool month. Now, when July came around, that's when things got to get f***ed up. When July came around, you feel me? We still doing the same shit, but it's like low-key getting hotter outside because there's more and more police outside because I know there's a lot of murders that year. A lot of people got whacked that year. You feel what I'm saying? RP to everybody, but a lot of people got whacked that year. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, the police out hot. So like my anxiety started to come back a little bit like we might have to go ahead and get in the police chase, but I already prepped my mind for this. I already know in my mind, I don't give a f we finna get in this police chase, I'm getting away. I don't know about everybody else, but G-Dot, not getting the fuck up out of here. I ain't finna go down and get booked and be in Cook County with some random niggas I don't know, some niggas from the Hot Block, all this other weird ass shit, man. F that, I'm finna go ahead and get out of here. So we riding through the hood one day, you feel me? We finna go slide on some hoes. We finna go slide on some hoes in the birds. Now, mind you, they was phoning them hoes. That was his move, so you feel me? I'm just riding with him. He finna go ahead and go to the suburbs right now. We leaving like 53rd, and we finna get on the E way. We finna go ahead and go to like the 100s, the 120s, 130s, or something like Cayu Mad City type shit. Now, on the way to the E way, the police try to flag him down. I swear to God, it happened like a movie, nigga. The nigga was just driving, everything was cool. Everybody was laughing, joking, you feel me? Passing around a blunt, getting high. Now, all of a sudden, we see, woo, woo. Now, look behind me, I see the cop car bro like it's the dicks nigga it's not no regular cop car it's the dicks so when i see the dicks i'm like i look to k k look at me we look at my other homie and he just take off nigga he ain't say nothing he just took the fuck off now we already right by the e-way so all you gotta do is make a left and he right there but i ain't gonna lie to dicks low-key not giving up that easy for they the dicks they're gonna try to chase you down and make you crash or something but i ain't gonna lie that nigga was whipping it on some need for speed shit bro that nigga was Whipping it through traffic like goddamn Paul Walker, nigga. I'm like, God damn. This nigga not playing. He not trying to go down. But at the same time, he can't get away from the dicks because they on his ass. Bro. Like, they on his ass. There's a little traffic. So he can't really floor it through that motherfucker. So this is what this nigga do. He go from 53rd to 79th. Hop off the E-Way on 79th. Run around real quick. Get back on the E-Way. Go downtown. Get back on the E-Way and slide to the hundred. Now, he starts to lose the cops a little bit. And everything looking good. But another police officer get behind this, bro. So I ain't gonna lie when that second police officer got behind this. This was the nigga did. He got off on the E-Way. I forgot where the fuck we was. We're like on 80-something. That nigga got off the E-Way, parked that bitch, and ran. I ain't gonna lie. When I seen that nigga get out the car, like he parked that bitch and got out the car, boy, I opened my door fast as hell. He didn't have to say shit. Nobody said nothing. We got the fuck out and ran. I don't know where I was. I don't know where I ended up. I just know I ended up somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. Went to the main street so I can know where I was. You feel me? Look, I think it was like 70-something, like 76 or something, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Called the Uber, went to the crib, ain't talk about it. Ain't talk about it at Oh, went to the crib and I made sure everybody else was straight. But after I made sure everybody else was straight, nigga, I didn't give a f I went home. I don't care about none of this shit, boy. Hey, look, car gone. I ain't popping out with you no more. Let's come to my car. I ain't finna be in your car and you driving around no more. That shit dead, nigga. That shit Nate dog. I ain't finna be doing this shit. You almost got me booked, nigga. Fuck that. It was nice while it lasted, but fuck that, dude. Ain't nobody doing that shit no more. So look, moral of the story is, bro, if you riding with a hot ass friend and you know that nigga might get booked, just be prepared to run and don't go down for it. Don't sit in the car and wait for the police because they're just gonna put everything in the car on you. You gotta run. You have to get away. Because if they catch you, they're putting it all on you, bro. For real. But that's the end of the video, though, GDOT family. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Guaboy and Twitter, Guaboy GDOT. All links to my social media are going to be in the description below. Look for my Twitch, Patreon, my website. Y'all already know what's going on with that. But without further ado, man, we out.